All right, good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's a smoke reaper again. Uh, don't mind me, I'm a little sick right now, but today is a special day for me because I have ordered my new uh, subwoofer enclosure. It's a Fierce Audio dual 10 inch ported box. Um, I'm re so it's replacing the old one, and I, as you can see, I have the old one next to me here. It's had, it's had a good run. And I will miss it. It's done great for me. It's never let me down. Uh, it's been in a couple. It's been in a car crash, and uh, with the sub, with the uh, amp still in it, and the car and everything, the amp was flipped side, upside down. Uh, the box was up in the front seat, pretty much. It was thrown around, and the amp and both the subwoofers and box held up great for me. And I've had it for about two years now, and uh, it's done good for me. It's been a uh, been uh, great having it around you know but uh it's time to make change and room for a new future and a new beginning and a new start so what i'm going to be doing today is taking these out and once the ups guy gets here because it's scheduled to get here today around two in the afternoon so i got my toolkit ready to take apart this and get everything out and ready to just slap them in the new box and uh get everything ready um no, not a clue what I'm going to do with the box. Probably keep it as a memorabilia. I mean, it was my first box, so, uh, I mean, like I said, it's been through everything. Um, it's always served its purpose. It's done great. But like I said, uh, it's time for a change, you know, change of scenery and uh, start a new beginning of base. And hopefully this next box does what I want it to do. And uh, I have high hopes for it. Paid about 74 for it with free shipping. Uh, still run off the same amp. The amp I will replace at a later time. But for now, uh, the box definitely needs replaced. It comes first for now. So uh, there will be a couple parts to this video. Unless I just slap it all into one and uh, do some editing on it. And, but uh, I will keep you guys updated. And uh, as it progresses... I will continue to shoot the video and add it in. So once the new box gets here and I take these apart, uh, I'll be posting it back up and uh, recording more of this so everyone can see it. Uh, again, I'm going to miss the box, but uh, it's time. So let's get it going with it. Alright, so as you can see, I got the uh, first one out. That's the original box. First box I ever had. No, it looks a little uh, funned out. And here's the subs. Two voice coils. And the little pioneers. They're going to look really good in the new box. I can't wait. So that's the update on this one. Uh, a, little, a little hard to get the screws out. They were embedded pretty decent, as you can see. The screws are over there chilling. I just got to get one more out. After that's out, I'm going to have to get this other one out. And then we'll be done and just wait for UPS to show up with my new box and uh, pop them in and hook them up into the car and see how they work, see how it goes. So this one's out and ready to go and the other one needs to come out. So once they're both out, we'll just sit and wait. All right, talk to you guys soon. Alright, I'm back. I got the subs out. Now all there's to do is wait for the truck. Looking pretty empty. Uh, it is kind of sad. I'm really going to miss the box. It did great. Um, it's always been there. It's never had any problems. Never had any wiring problems, any sound problems, any air leaks, anything. And, uh, here are the subs. Two tens. So really all there is now to do is wait 
for the UPS guy to show up. And you better get here, or shit's gonna hit the ceiling. And I'll be very upset if he doesn't come here today. Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. Keep watching. Be back soon. Peace. Alright, YouTube, I'm back. So, it's about... It's 5.15 right now, and as you can see, my box is here. I didn't open it yet, but I'm pumped to see what's in it. So, without further ado, let's open this up. I might need to find a place to sit this camera. I don't know how good it works since it's on my cell phone to get it to sit up. It's probably going to be a pain. Let's see if I can get it to level. Okay, it's not going to stay level. That's my aunt, by the way, if anyone wants to know. There it is. There it is. Whew. Look at that. Look at the size of that monster. A whole lot of 55. 55 are right there, boys. Installed and improved by pro installers. Extreme audio, dual 10 inch. Ultra durable, 0.70 MDF material with double glue seam construction for long lasting performance. Spring loaded solid brass, professional speaker terminals used pre terminated soldering. 16 AWG speaker cable for maximum power to transfer. Durable and high grade colored, black, high, black colored UV treat, treat automotive carpet for the best protection against sun fading. Recessed baffled provides custom look and helps protect water. So, I'm going to unbox this, get this up, set it up inside. And you can see I got my woofers ready to pop in. I'm telling you, this is going to be looking so good that you're not even going to know what to think. Um, it's probably best that I set my woofers up in the front seat so I can go hit it with the box. Actually, at this point, I'm going to turn the can. I'm going to shut this part of the video off, and I will uh, come back once I have the box sitting inside to give you guys a little rundown of it before I start putting stuff in. So, uh, peace. All right, I'm back again. And as you can see, the box is done up out of the casing. There's the ports, both sides. It's pre wired and ready to go. It's got a sick look to it. It's going to look perfect with the subs because of the black around the subs. Other than that, I got this back here, ready to terminal. So, I'll keep you up to date. We'll keep this going. Peace, YouTube. Alright, welcome back. This is the third and final video of this part, part video of this. Um, it's all come together finally, and there she is. Fierce Audio 2 10-inch ported holes. Looks great in the box. I can't wait. I'm so stoked to get it to run. Get it running. If I had my keys with me. I'm going to have to go get my keys. <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah, it's ready to run. Got my ports. It's looking good. Got the decal on there. Got everything going. It's a glove. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go run up and get my keys. Come back down. And we'll... Uh, We'll see how they sound. I didn't try them yet. So you are all going to be the first along with me to hear it. So here we go. Alright, I'm finally ready to do my vid. Uh, I'm going to be playing New Shit by Young Money. So uh, let's see how it goes.
what a difference that makes. Just the most phenomenal more sound I've ever heard in my car. It's like I have a brand new set of subwoofers, a brand new amp. I'm going to keep toying around with it and uh, keep everybody posted, but thanks for keeping watching this. Whoever's watching this, thanks for sticking with through the whole video. Um, definitely, if you have the money and you do not have a lot of it and you need a new box, 110% recommend this box. This is definitely worth paying for. I mean, just the amount of sound it's putting out now compared to what it was in the enclosed box in the uh, sealed it's just ridiculous so you guys if you are out there and you need a cheap box hit up fierce audio dual 10 inch or dual 12 inches ported boxes they even have 15s and 18s um highly recommend them thanks for everyone who's watching this video and uh peace and there'll be plenty more more videos to come